So we're painting a rain barrel to auction it off. And the rain barrel is going to store the rainwater, which, which is um, chemical free. It's considered soft, and you can water your garden with it. That's a monkey. <laughs> and he doesn't have eyes because we messed up. <laughs> yeah, I did that by accident. My favorite thing about the rain barrel is how it brings all my classmates together and we can all work on it. It's colorful, it has details, and it looks great. I like that we get to paint something that's going to help the earth like, be less polluted. All the water can be stored if you need it, like another time and you don't have any, you can just get it from the rain barrel. It's like very useful. You see a lapo, right? You see these wood? It's all different colors throughout. I want it to be darker here, so I'm going to do more red here. So when we started brainstorming the idea of what we wanted to do for our design on our barrel, uh, we came up with the idea of making a plastic barrel look like a realistic wooden barrel. So that's the effect that we're going for. We're going to do two different types of wood grain. We're going to do one that's half brush, half airbrush, and then next week we're going to do the full-on airbrush one and do that Donkey Kong image that you guys see up there. The students came up with the design. They wanted it to reflect the Discovery School theme, so it's all outer space themed. I'm cleaning it back a black hole. It's kind of hard, but I like the space shuttle because it has a lot of details. I think it's really cool that students are actually getting the paint on it. It collects all like the rainwater, so then you can use it to like water plants and other needs, and you can filter it. I think this is a really creative way for kids to get involved in something that's about the environment and that focuses on reusing water and conserving water. Basically, our idea for the barrel was to do kind of an ocean with sunset theme. We wanted to incorporate our little like things that we used to like. We liked um, the dolphins, which is more of my thing, and she liked them. Um, whales. Whales. <laughs> we thought about whales and how they were very like, heavily hunted and they almost went extinct. And lately there has been less of the hunting of them, so they've been repopulating, rejuvenate the ocean, bring up like, nutrients from the bottom, and help fish repopulate also. So we should have two nails, one on either side of those planks. We're, we're going and finishing what we saw last time, where we combined the wooden panels, our realistic wooden panels. Today we're using the airbrush. Uh, now we're adding all the details. We're gonna do the planks, we're gonna give it the nails, and we're gonna give it some, uh, some more dimension. We're gonna be doing our shadowing with the black, putting some light in it with the white, and then we're gonna go on to do our second design of wood grain next. Can you paint the tail? Yeah, buddy. Good job. Here at the Stratford program, we uh, have done the rain barrel every single year that uh, it's been at the Arlington Public Schools. We decided to do a jungle theme. The kids chose the jungle, but we decided to use stencils um, just because we have a wide range of kiddos uh, and their abilities. And it's been really great to be able to tie science in with the arts. The kids really kind of enjoy the idea of learning about safe water to drink versus safe water for the plants and how we can be a part of that process. After finishing up with our airbrush, we decided to give our barrel some dimension using the candy root beer to really bring out that real live wood effect. Uh, we topped it off with some clear coat to protect it from the sun and the rain when it's outside so it could be all weatherproof. I hope, for one, they're an art lover so they can appreciate the image on the barrel, but also that loves the planet and like wants to do good by it. Happiness just having it in their yard and when people walk by they'll say I really like your rain barrel and I hope that they get a lot of usage out of it and that all of our hard work painting it and drawing it and the sketches will have actually really paid off. We put a lot of effort into this and we just want it to help people. Well, I think it's important for young kids to be involved with their community because we are going to be the ones who are going to take care of the earth in the future generations. So we really need to learn how to take care and be efficient with our natural resources. 